I stayed well away from the US election because frankly, I didn't think I knew enough about it. But the one thing I cannot resist is a bit of queer kid stuff. Hey there. Shut the fuck up, you ugly bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I got way ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay, and today I want to talk about the election here in the United States. Oh, Lindsay, isn't it enough that you subject children to your usual content? On Tuesday, November 8th, 2016, we elected Donald Trump to be the next president of our country. And yet you sound as though someone died. Because of these results, the last week has been hard for a lot of grown-ups. Do you mean the ones that are rioting, or the ones that are kicking the shit out of other people? I'm sure it's been hard for you too. Yeah, because all those homosexual six-year-olds voted Clinton, didn't they? I know you are sad and scared and confused. Your grown-up probably is too. Lindsay, if an adult makes their child watch your channel, then confused just isn't the word. It's okay to feel those things. I have also been sad and scared and confused, even angry. Yeah, so confused you couldn't even focus your fucking camera, Lindsay. Make a fucking effort. I want to tell you the truth. That Donald Trump can be a mean person. <laughs> the grown-ups who voted for him, they can be mean too. And the truth is that they probably will not stop being mean anytime soon. <laughs> See, this is why you gotta love Lindsay, right? Because she goes right for the kids. She cuts out the middleman and goes right for the kids. She's like a fucking Christmas advert. The fact is probably difficult for you to hear. It's difficult for me to talk about. Oh, fuck off, bitch. We all know you can bust out that rhetoric with a mouthful of cake. But... I want you to remember this. Hatefulness and meanness may have won this election. Hooray! But love and kindness are so much stronger. In Disney films, yes. But in reality, no, Lindsay. You're just scaring kids. You are our future and it looks so, so bright. Only if every single child that was made to watch this swears that they will never put their children through the same thing. Your grown-ups love you. I love you. Okay, I've got 50 quid that says Lindsay is going to get investigated for paedophilia within the next six months. Any takers? Anyone? And Teddy loves you too. Yeah, where is Teddy, Lindsay? Oh shit, did he vote Trump? Have you killed him, Lindsay? And we need to work together for a better future. Where's the bear, Lindsay? Where's the bear? The best thing you can do right now is go hug your grown-up real tight, go to school, and listen to people who are different from you. No, no, don't listen to her, kids. She's a bear killer who can't focus a fucking camera. And most important of all, be kind. I'm trying to be kind, Lindsay. I asked a little kid if he wanted to take a sweet from my pocket, but now I'm not allowed within 50 yards of a primary school. For right now, it's okay to be sad. Lindsay, have you ever actually met a child? They get upset over the most trivial shit. They don't get upset because their Barbie's body type isn't representative of all women or that Clinton didn't win the election. They're more likely to cry over the fact that they're not a Power Ranger. But I want you to know that I have hope. And, I strongly suspect, a cock and balls. And, I believe in you. We are always stronger together in love. Until a serial killer breaks into your house in the dead of night and makes you choose which one of your parents gets killed first. Thank you very much to Kind Heathen who brought this video to my attention. And remember guys, you are the future. And the future is looking bleak.